get up for the T20 Cricket World Cup as we bowl you over with our on-point, incisive commentary. From scintillating run chases to superb fielding and attacking bowling, On Point will keep you in the know with all the action down under. On Point is proudly brought to you by Tyson Properties. Be in line to win a brand new Suzuki Swift with Tyson Properties. All you have to do is hashtag choose Tyson Properties Richards Bay for any of your property needs. Buy, sell, lease or rent out with Tyson Properties Richards Bay between now and the 31st of March to gain entry into the draw. The more transactions, the better your chances. So choose Tyson Properties Richards Bay and follow us on Facebook for more information. T's and C's apply. We're into week three of the T20 Cricket World Cup and what can I say? It's been action, drama, a whole lot of tears and joy. But Dave kind of summed it up last week when he said, South Africa always manages to give us a heart attack. Well, that's what has been going on. It's been highs and lows and the dreaded Duckworth-Lewis system has hit us again. Dave, take us through yesterday's game. Ron, that's the story of South Africa's life and there's a long history in the T20 competition of how the rain has interfered with everything. The game against Pakistan, I must say, I was fortunate to be working from home and that means you can have the TV game. Yes. But what a great game it was for the neutrals. I mean, it was so exciting. We were on top, then they were, then we got wickets, they got runs and so forth. But then the rain came and we finished our bowling effort really with a, a very wet field, soggy field, and that catches were difficult. And then, of course, when we went out to bat, the odds were stacked against us, but full marks to Pakistan, and yeah. that's what makes the T20 competition so good. One or two batsmen come off, and that changes the whole complexion of the game. We missed David Miller. It was really made for him, a short boundary on, on his side for the left-hander, and he wasn't there. Well, take nothing away from the Pucky outfit, their bowling and fielding were superb yesterday. The Puckies gave us a puck. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, let's look at Group 1 and Group 2. It's going to be quite a race to, to make the semi-final. Dave, we've got New Zealand, England, Australia all vying for a top in the semi-final place. We do have, they're all on five points, but just behind them is Sri Lanka on four, and even Ireland who playing New Zealand as we speak now. It's very, very outside chance. But there are four teams contesting two places, and that, I believe, is going to go down to run average. Yes. What's your pick in Group 1, the two teams that's through to the semi-final? Well, you know that from day one I picked New Zealand, mm -hmm. so I would say New Zealand and England. Okay. Two, well, that's if Aussies have anything to say about that. Let's let's keep a close eye. In Group Two, we've got India sitting nice and comfy at the top. South Africa. Then there's Paki, Bangladesh. Outside chance for any of those teams? Well, look, we played Netherlands on Sunday. We ought to win that, and even if it's rained out, the point that we'll get is probably enough for us. So it's going to be South Africa and another. I think India. Pakistan blows hot and cold, we all know mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But if they come off, it could be that India even uh, gets knocked out. Yes, well, let's just hope South Africa has its place in the semi-final. Now, it's going to be a cracker of a weekend and don't miss out any of the T20 games. Today, we've got um, Ireland and New Zealand, Australia and Afghanistan at it at the moment. Dave, you think any upsets there? I can't see it. Um, New Zealand posted quite a good total, they were 185 for 6. Uh, Zim's not, or Ireland rather, is not going to make that total. I can't see that, that happening, so we can notch that one down there. But I don't see any great surprises. Australia will beat Afghanistan today, I think that's a, that's a given. Uh, Saturday, there's just one game, Sri Lanka and England. That's going to be a good one, because mm -hmm. the Sri Lankans on their day can, can beat anyone. But you would have to favour England for that. Yes, and I'm sure England want to just secure their place in the semi-final. We're looking at Sunday and we've got three top games. South Africa against the Netherlands, Pakistan and Bangladesh and the big Zimbabwe-India clash. Yeah, you've got to give it to India there. Um, I'm not too sure about Pakistan and Bangladesh. It 
depends which Pakistan team pitches up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, either the, the world champions or the absolute throw away your wickets guys. The lethal bowlers. Yes, and, mm -hmm. and we know Bangladesh, they can, they can knock anyone out of things. But uh, once again, I think it's almost wrapped up that England is in. Well, then we head on to Wednesday and Thursday where the semi-finals take place. So make sure you diarize those days and watch the T20 Cricket World Cup semi-finals. Stay tuned to On Point with Dave and Renal. How's that? This video was proudly brought to you by Tyson Properties Richards Bay. Buy, sell, lease or rent out with Tyson Properties Richards Bay between now and the 31st of March to stand a chance to win a Suzuki Swift. Follow them on Facebook or call 035-789-1173. T's and C's apply.